Good morning, Asia. Welcome to the Asian preview and North American wrap from Privateer FX. Got the dollar CAD chart up here with the Bank of Canada. That was kind of the highlight of the week, and you can see how uh, they did not they did not hike rates, which wasn't really expected. Um, and then came across sounding a little bit dovish. You can see this hourly bar here. We had the big move up to 126.36 was the initial. And then it came back down, closed at 95. And, you know, kind of held there. And it held in there. We, we did top out around this 126.60 level. Um, for me, I think we continue higher. Uh, let's go to the 240 chart because I got this thing drawn. Just looking at some of the retracements. Um, you know, this is the, the big swing. Looks, the half fib, uh, actually, let me, let me refresh this browser. Hold on one sec. Um, the, all right, for whatever reason, this isn't showing up. So let me just, let me just draw them here. Um, the swing that we want to be looking at here, and, you know, we, we did close just above the, 200 day moving average and taking the swing from that high the 13120 area down to the low we've got a lot of room on the top side if this thing really wants to start get going higher you know we can go into this kind of congestion zone here um, so you know I don't think it was an earth shattering uh, Bank of Canada meeting, but they, I think that they're very cautious on housing and uh, still waiting for more inflation and, you know, other reasons to hike rates. And they're very data dependent. They're not, they're not forward looking like the Fed, some of the other central banks. They literally take one data point at a time and they put that into their model. So you can see here, here's a 200 day moving average. We're back just above it. Um, you know, closed a few ticks above. So I wouldn't really call that a that a violation or a breach of the 200-day. Uh, but after having this big downdraft from 131.20, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more upside, maybe up to this one, this 100-day 100, 100 moving average, which is 126.80 area. So that was kind of the focus today. Um, really CAD and CAD crosses. We take a look at CAD yen, you know, came off kind of an outside reversal day or double top here, came off. Dollar yen didn't really do anything. The majors were very quiet. There was some dollar weakness. Euro closed pretty much unchanged. Uh, Kiwi dollar ahead of the Kiwi CPI coming up shortly, had another down day. Um, Australian dollar had a reversal higher day. So there's some Aussie Kiwi, Aussie buying, Kiwi selling going through. Cable had an, a, kind of another tough day after uh, missing their uh, their data was a, a, a little bit weaker overnight. Um, you know, we're looking at this high up here, two red red bars closed in the lower two thirds of the bar. Um, you know, for me, this is I'm a little cautious. Sentiment's very high still although it will have dropped again today. Um, but I, I'm cautious. I think we can kind of pull back, you know, somewhere around 140, probably psychological, maybe 139.50, 70 area. Wouldn't be at all surprised. We've got a trend line that comes in off the daily. Take this low here. Yeah, I got a couple touches, two, three touches. I think some longs would bail if we start getting under 140, 85. Um, you know, it's a long way away, but more, more data from them. Uh, New Zealand dollar, we got this CPI coming up. That's important. It's starting to look like it's rolling over. It's had a nice little, you know, a nice little run up um, from this low that was made in March, the end of March. So, you know, a month later, it's kind of worked its way higher. Huge, huge level up here. really a triple top if we go back far enough here we are huge level <clears throat> so um, you know I think CPI might uh, it has potential to move it 
straddles are pricing in 50 pips or so for moves. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Stocks had another uh, another decent day, although it came off. Let's take a look at the S&P. Um, came off, it closed off its highs, but we did close above. Remember this, we're, we're closing right on this two thirds, 2709. And the NASDAQ went up and touched it to the tick. So it's kind of make or break time for these equities. They've had a nice run up for the past month. Um, you know, a few days up in a row on the NASDAQ. Let's see if it can keep going or, uh, you know, maybe it's time for a pause, a little bit of a reversal retracement. I'll leave it at that. i got to get to this uh, Kiwi CPI number coming up. Good luck trading, and you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.